Our vision worsens over time, and it is an irreversible process. However, some diseases can accelerate this vision loss, and we can take steps to prevent them. That is why we will discuss what happens to our eyes as we age and how to protect them to maintain sharp vision. As you age, you may notice difficulty reading small print, holding reading material at arm's length, experiencing eye strain while reading and blurred vision at normal reading distances. This condition is called presbyopia, and these symptoms typically begin after age 40 and affect almost everyone by age 50. This process is nearly inevitable but tends to progress faster in people with farsightedness, diabetes and other chronic diseases to slow down the progression of presbyopia. You can use proper lighting during tasks that require close focus, take regular breaks while working and follow the 20-20-20 rule every 20 minutes. Look at an object 20 feet away for 20 seconds. It also helps to consume more vitamin A, vitamin C and omega-3 fatty acids. The second most common eye problem that causes decreased vision is nearsightedness, also called myopia. In this condition, a person can see close objects clearly, but distant objects appear blurry. Myopia is very common worldwide and affects nearly 90% of people in East Asia. Myopia often develops in early childhood and is more prevalent in people who spend a lot of time on activities requiring close focus, like reading or using screens. Myopia occurs when the eyeball is elongated or the cornea is excessively curved causing light to focus in front of the retina. Normally, light should focus directly on the retina for clear vision. The most common treatment for myopia is glasses or corrective lenses with a minus prescription. This prescription tends to increase until young adulthood, after which it usually stabilizes. The third important eye condition is farsightedness, also known as hyperopia. This happens when the eyeball is too short or the cornea is too flat, causing light to focus behind the retina. As a result, a person has difficulty seeing nearby objects clearly but can see distant objects more easily. Hyperopia commonly affects children and adults under 40 and is also genetical. The main symptoms of hyperopia include blurred vision when focusing on near objects and difficulty concentrating on close tasks. Often resulting in headaches after such activities, hyperopia typically remains stable over time or worsens. It affects around 5-10% to 10 of the population. Treatment usually involves glasses or contact lenses with a plus prescription. If left untreated in childhood, farsightedness can lead to amblyopia or lazy eye and significantly impact quality of life. Over time, especially as it coincides with age-related presbyopia, stronger plus glasses are often needed. The fourth condition that affects the eyes is glaucoma. Glaucoma occurs when the optic nerve is damaged due to increased pressure inside the eye and if left untreated it can lead to vision loss. Glaucoma is usually associated with individuals over the age of 60 but can occur at any age. High intraocular pressure is an important risk factor for glaucoma as well as conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, migraine and the use of corticosteroids. Glaucoma is one of the leading causes of blindness worldwide. Unlike cataracts, which are the leading cause of blindness but can be treated, blindness caused by glaucoma is irreversible. The most common form of glaucoma has no early symptoms. However, as the disease progresses, it causes peripheral vision loss and tunnel vision. But by this point, significant damage to the optic nerve has often already occurred. In some cases, glaucoma presents with symptoms, particularly in angle closure glaucoma. This type causes severe eye pain, blurred vision, halos around lights, nausea and vomiting. These symptoms occur due to a rapid increase in pressure inside the eye. Screening for glaucoma involves measuring intraocular pressure. Additionally, optic nerve examination and visual field testing can be performed to detect peripheral vision loss. The sixth common eye problem is age-related macular degeneration, which is a leading cause of vision loss in older adults. It primarily affects central vision and the ability to see fine details. It is the leading cause of vision loss in individuals aged 50 and above. The first symptoms of 
macular degeneration include distortion of straight lines, which is called metamorphopsia, or difficulty seeing in low light. Other common signs include blurred vision, reduced central vision dark or empty areas in the centre of vision, and difficulty reading or recognising faces. Symptoms usually start around age 50 to 60 and the risk increases with age. The most important risk factors are smoking, age, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity and prolonged sun exposure. The primary cause of age-related macular degeneration is inflammation and oxidative stress, which over time damages the retina. The macula is the small central part of the retina, located at the back of the eye. It is responsible for sharp, detailed central vision, the type of vision needed for tasks like reading, driving and recognising faces. There are two types of macular degeneration, dry and wet. In dry macular degeneration, yellow deposits called drusen accumulate beneath the retina, causing gradual vision loss over time. In wet macular degeneration, abnormal blood vessel growth occurs known as choroidal neovascularization. These vessels leak fluid or blood, damaging the macula and causing rapid and severe vision loss. Treatment involves lifestyle modification, such as quitting smoking, losing weight, controlling blood pressure and maintaining a healthy diet. There is no cure for macular degeneration. A diet rich in leafy greens, fish omega-3 fatty acids and antioxidants may help protect against retinal damage. Ultraviolet light protection is also important. Wearing sunglasses to reduce ultraviolet light exposure may lower the risk. Macular degeneration progresses slowly over years, and many people retain functional peripheral vision even if their central vision is compromised. In advanced cases, it may lead to significant central vision loss, but complete blindness is rare. For wet macular degeneration, antivascular endothelial growth factors such as ranibizumab are used. These treatments target the abnormal blood vessel growth under the retina. Initially, injections are given monthly or bimonthly, and then the treatment is tailored based on the patient's response. Without treatment, wet age-related macular degeneration can lead to rapid and severe central vision loss within months. With anti vag therapy, progression is slowed or halted in most patients, and some even experience vision improvement. The seventh common eye condition is retinal detachment, which is a serious condition. It usually occurs after the age of 40, especially in people with high myopia or those who have experienced trauma. Retinal detachment most commonly happens when a retinal tear or hole allows fluid to accumulate under the retina, separating it from its underlying tissue. Additionally, scar tissue on the retina can pull it away from its normal position which is common in cases of diabetic retinopathy. The first symptoms of retinal detachment include the sudden onset of floaters, small dark shapes in vision, flashes of light, particularly in peripheral vision, and a shadow or curtain-like effect over part of visual field. Blurred vision in one eye is also common, usually is a pain, but vision deteriorates quickly. The main risk factors for retinal detachment include high myopia, a trauma, accidents during sports, cataract surgery, aging especially after 40, and diabetic retinopathin. Retinal detachment often leads to permanent vision loss in the affected eye. The longer the detachment is left untreated, the more damage occurs, making vision recovery less likely. Early intervention generally results in good outcomes with a 90% success rate in retinal reattachment surgeries. Retinal detachment is an emergency condition and requires urgent treatment.